A little Marcy from the 90s. Oh, such a gay playboy. I'm a gay playboy. <laughs> so, Forever Young, right? It brings it to mind, Forever Young, right? Morrissey in his prime. Now he's an old fart, old gay fart. Twinkie chaser. <laughs> ah, hangs out in the boys' room. Marcus Conti reporting today on a little ageism, right? Comedy aside, uh, Jimmy Carter stuck his foot in his mouth. President, dear President Jimmy Carter, you heard? Is he said some crazy shit, man? He said some shit. We're gonna take a look at this shit, right? You want to see the shit that he's talking about? Jimmy Carter throws shade at 2020 Dems. I hope there's an age limit. <laughs> wow, it's an interesting perspective because he is 95. He was the president of the United States. And he's saying that at age 80, uh, someone is not capable of being the president of the United States because of the mental, the mental anguish and the mental power required to run the country. That's what he's saying, right? So in, in 2020, Joe Biden would be seven. Well, Joe Biden right now is 76. Sanders, 78. Trump, 73. Warren, 70. Oh, and Hillary Clinton, 71, because she's running, right? <laughs> so it puts all of our two major contenders, our two front runners, Bernie Sanders, 78, and um, Joe Biden, 76. Now, again, is Joe Biden the throwaway to put in Elizabeth Warren at 70, right? So all of these candidates, uh, the entire lead, Biden and Sanders, the two front runners in the Democratic Party, would both be in their 80s going into, they would be sitting in the White House at 80 years old. And Jimmy Carter says, no, you can't do that shit, man. It's fucking, you'd be senile. So let's see what he says. See what he says. Former President Jimmy Carter said Tuesday that he believes uh, he, he, would, he wouldn't be able to serve as commander-in-chief past the age of 80. Carter, who turns 95 on October 1st, made the statement while answering audience questions at his annual address at the Carter Center in Atlanta. Quote, I hope there's an age limit, Ooh, Carter said, but did not single out any, any of the Democratic 2020 presidential hopefuls by name. Both Biden and Sanders, two front runners earlier in, early in the race, would turn 80 years old while in their first term. <laughs> he didn't, again, Carter didn't single out Democrats. I got the clip. I'll play the clip for you. If I were 80 years old, if I was 15 years younger, I don't believe I could undertake the duties of uh, I experienced when I was president, Carter said. The former president was responding to a question about whether he would consider running for another term in office, uh, which, is, uh, <coughs> which he is eligible for because he lost re-election to Republican Ronald Reagan. Now, could you imagine 95-year-old ex-president running for re-election? Whoa, that shit is crazy, man. I mean, I see in, in my neighborhood, right, there's two kinds of people that I'm afraid of uh, when I cross the street walking. One is the young buck. He's high on himself. He's, he's all pumped up on testosterone. He's going to his girl's house. He's got the music blasting. He's got his hand over the wheel, and he's fucking going 70 miles an hour in a, you know, down the street with kids crossing and old ladies and doesn't give a shit, doesn't even know what time it is, right? That guy's scary. But what's more scary, in my view, is when grandpa comes driving around the street and you see him and you're in the crosswalk and all of a sudden this car fucking comes right out in front of you, scares the shit out of you and you look up, it's grandpa behind the wheel. I, maybe, you know, I always said, I always felt that maybe we should have a retesting for driver's licenses after a certain age. Uh, it's fair enough. It's not saying you can't drive, but you got to prove it. I right? go out, 
right? You could do another road test. We'll pay for it, right? You're already a licensed driver. And you got to retest, I don't know, maybe at uh, 75, right? Maybe 75 years old. You've got to retest, uh, you know, maybe every five years. Right? Is that fair enough? I mean, it's an easy test. You just go out, you show up at your goddamn car, and you, and you do a little, you just do a little, you know, drive. That's all, just to see if you're together, see if your brain is working, see if your eyeballs are working. See if your brain and your eyeballs are working together, right? So it's not a, it's not a ridiculous thing. Uh, so so uh, Carter said, I hope there's an age limit, Carter said, but did not single out. Now, is this ageism? That's what I want to talk about. Is it ageism? Are we being, is, is Jimmy Carter, the liberal, the liberal uh, icon of the uh, pre-Reagan era, uh, a, 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 an ageismist? <laughs> an ageismist? I don't know. So uh, if I were 80 years old, 15 years younger, I don't believe I can do it. The former president was responding to a question. I already read that, God damn it. Carter said that the office demands a president be, quote, flexible with your mind. Ooh. You have to be able to go from one subject to another and concentrate on each one adequately and then put them together in a com comprehensive way, like I did. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, let's hear him in his own words. Let's hear, let's hear Jimmy Carter in his own words. Well, I, I hope, I hope it's an age limit. <laughs> you know, if I were just 80 years old, <laughs> if I was 15 years younger, I don't believe I could undertake the duties that I experienced when I was president. But one thing, you have to be very flexible with your mind. You have to be able to go from one subject to another and concentrate on each one adequately and then put them all together in a comprehensive way like I did between Begin and Sadat with a peace agreement. You also have to be able to adopt new ideas. Well, I, I, hope, I hope it's an age limit. Wow. Say it again, Jimmy. Say it again, Jimmy. Well, I, I, hope, I hope it's an age limit. Oh, man, that is, what a dig, man, taking a dig. Now, he said he loved Bernie Sanders. What is ageism, anyway? Ageism, spelt ageism, is stereotyping and discrimination against individuals or groups on the basis of their age. Oh, man, this may be casual or systemic. Uh, systemic, yeah, so that was casual, right? That was a casual dig. He was laughing, right? Is, is it a joke? Was he joking? I don't know, man. 95-year-old guy saying that even if I were 15 years younger, man, I don't think I could handle that shit. Right? You got to listen to it. You got to listen to it, right? He was the president. He did the job. And now he's, he's talking about his perspective. So it's very, you know, it's very interesting. Among them were uh, prudential attitudes towards older people, old age, and the aging process, discriminatory practices against old people, and the inst institutional practices and policies that perpetuate Stereotypes about old people. Hmm. What else can we look at? So here's Jimmy Carter in his prime. Let's look back and see if his mind is more nimble then than it is now. This is a great speech, by the way. He, he actually it was a very under underrated speech, as the um, commentator is going to tell you about malaise, about uh, the the a soul sickness. Jimmy Carter pointed to a soul sickness of sorts in America uh, back in what was it, 1971. No? 1979, excuse me. 1979, he, he made this speech. Check it out. It's just fun for shits and giggles, and then we'll, uh, we'll hear from Bernie Sanders a, a little bit. Jimmy Carter gave his famous malaise speech. He never used that term, but that's the name that was given to a speech in which the president said the country's economic woes were due in part to a crisis of confidence in the country. It has come to be known as perhaps the most politically tone-deaf speech in modern American history. Take a look. It is a crisis of confidence. It is a crisis that strikes at the very heart and soul and spirit of our national will. We can see this crisis in the growing doubt about the meaning of our own lives and in the loss of a unity of purpose for our nation. The erosion of our confidence in the future is threatening to destroy the social and the political fabric of America. The confidence that we have always had as a people is not simply some romantic dream. 
or a proverb and a dusty book that we read just on the 4th of July. It is the idea which founded our nation and has guided our development as a people. Confidence in the future has supported everything else. Public institutions and private enterprise, our own families and the very Constitution of the United States. Confidence has defined our course and has served as a link. It's pretty powerful, right? Because there is no confidence anymore, right? Everybody thinks the deep state is uh, overthrowing everybody. And, uh, you know, there is, there's no confidence in the economy. He was very spot on in that respect, right? It's kind of like, I think it's uh, on the verge of becoming like the, uh, the Eisenhower speech. You don't trust the military industrial complex. The military industrial complex. You remember when, when uh, Eisenhower warned the American people about the military industrial complex? Well, here's Jimmy Carter in his prime, right? Probably, I don't know, 71. So you, so you do 79. So you did the math. 1980, he was 35 years younger. I freaking, I can't add anymore, but it's a lot of years ago, man. It's probably, he was probably in his 50s at the time, right? He's a very nimble mind, like, you, like yours truly, right? His fucking mind is sharp, like a, like a, like a piercing bullet. Right? Like fucking so sharp and so so amazing at this age. It's just like I'm beside myself, man. So so I, I respect Jimmy Carter's nimble nimbleness of mind at the time, but uh and it, it is a very kidding aside, it's very insightful on his uh his 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 vision, his ability to see the malaise, the breaking down of uh, social confidence in this country. And now we're seeing it epidemic, I think. So thank you, Jimmy Carter. And here's Bernie Sanders talking about Jimmy Carter. Then we'll sum it up. Last week, this is what former President Jimmy Carter had to say about the current campaign finance system on the Tom Hartman radio show. President Carter stated that unlimited money in politics, and I quote, violates the essence of what made America a great country in its political system. Now, it's just an oligarchy, with unlimited political bribery being the essence of getting the nominations for president or to elect the president. And the same thing applies to governors and U.S. senators and Congress members. So now we have just seen a complete subversion of our political system as a payoff to major contributors who want and expect and sometimes get favors for themselves after the election's over. End of quote. Mr. President, I would ask unanimous consent to put into the record President Carter, President Carter's full statement. Okay, we'll take it, Jim Bernie. Thank you very much. So, so Bernie makes a, a case for Jimmy Carter's uh, uh, view and vision on... Uh, his his vision on how money corrupts politics. You heard Bernie say it. Bernie's been saying it ever since. All right, and Bernie, let's see how old he was. In 2015, right, when Bernie's giving this speech right here, promoting Jimmy Carter, <laughs> uh, he was, in 2015, it makes him about 73 years old, 74, right? So 74 is pretty sharp, right? And now he seems to be, He's articulate. He just needs to, to rest, right? I mean, at 80 years old, 75, 80 years old. Damn, I mean, I, I, don't, I can't go. I don't, even go I, I don't even go out the door past 7 p.m. unless I absolutely, absolutely have to. I am tired, man. I'm fucking tired at this age, right? You know, as you get older, you need your naps. All right, so you know what, man? Just if Bernie Sanders gets elected, come on, man. It's not a big deal, right? It's not a big deal. Is it ageism? Is, is Jimmy Carter right in saying there should be an age limit to the to the uh to how old somebody can be before you know to be president i don't know man maybe you could just set up a nap room for bernie you know you give him his you know change his diaper if he has to you know whatever whatever it caused you know whatever you need to do you know get a walker get him put him in a wheelchair whatever fuck who cares man he's still the president man right it's anything is better than than the shit we have now right this constant malaise of deterioration, people killing each other, eating each other. People just can't get the fuck along. Right? And now, so, I don't know, man. You know, I mean, I, what do I know, man? What do I know? I'm just some idiot on YouTube. Playing, playing game music. 